हे लेट्स कंटिन्यू द जर्नी ऑफ सीड इन पार्ट वन सीड कवर्ड सम की कंसेप्ट ऑफ डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट एंड नाउ ही इज ऑल सेट टू डाइव डीपर इन टू पार्ट टू स्टेप बाय स्टेप ही इज बिल्डिंग द कॉन्फिडेंट सो वी आर वी आर गेटिंग क्लोजर टू मास्टर दिस यूनिट वर्थ टेन मार्क्स सो विदाउट फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी माई एस क्यू एल सिलेक्ट कमांड इट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कमांड इन माई एस क्यू एल विच इज यूज टू डिस्प्ले द रेकॉर्ड्स वील गेट एन आइडिया हाउ टू यूज दीज ऑपरेटर्स विद सिलेक्ट कमांड इवन हाउ वी कैन डू पैटर्न मैचिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर वाइल डिस्प्लेइंग द रेकॉर्ड्स वी कैन परफॉर्म डिफरेंट कैलकुलेशन विद सिलेक्ट कमांड एंड फॉर सॉर्टिंग वी विल बी यूजिंग ऑर्डर बाय क्लॉज then without wasting much time let's start this session all right then we know select command is used to retrieve data here is the syntax the keyword select followed by the list of the columns which we need to display then we will be writing from table name if you have condition you will be mentioning here it's an optional part with the use of where clause we will be displaying the records based on condition look at the simple example select emp id from employee and here is the list of emp id we mention here only single column name that is getting displayed if you have more than one column to display you can separate it by comma so the specified two columns are getting display first one and this is the second one if you want to display all the columns of the table then we will be using star it is also called as all operator look at the command select star from employee all the columns are getting displayed let's check out one more important keyword that is distinct it eliminates duplicate rows Look at the city column from the employee table. There are duplicate values for Bangalore and Pune. And if you don't want to print duplicate value, you can apply distinct keyword before column name. Now look at the output. Bangalore is getting displayed once even Pune. Now we will be experimenting with the where clause which we are going to use with select command. We know the syntax the place where we will be writing the where clause. With where clause we can determine the criteria to display the records. Let's check out how to use relational operators with the where clause. These four operators are same as all the programming languages. We need to only remember this is equals to and not equal to operator. Let's use equal to operator in the first example. Select star from employee means all the records we need to display. Now what's the criteria to display where city should be Bangalore? From the output it is clear that the records are getting displayed whose city is Bangalore. In the same way you can use other relational operators. Now let's talk about the logical operators. There are three logical operators and or and the third one is not. I know you are well familiar with the working of these logical operators. It is just like Python programming language. Look at this example. We need to display the records of employee whose city should be Bangalore or Nagpur. It means there are two conditions. How to write query? Select star from employee where city equals to Bangalore or city equals to Nagpur. Concentrate on the field city. you can see records with bangalore and nagpur in case of or operator if any one condition is true then the output will be true sometimes the or operator will be written like this but meaning is same let's talk about one more example there are two condition both should be true that's why in this scenario we will be using and operator if both the inputs are true then only the output will be true Look at the query select star from employee where city equals to Pune and salary should be greater than 21000 from the given records of the table only one record is satisfying this criteria and it is getting displayed we understood the usage of relational operators as well as logical operator with select now we will be checking out how to use between operator with select command Between operator is used to select the values from the given range. So we will be opting for the values from the given range. Look at the syntax. Select column names from table name. Till here it is same. It's time to write where clause. Where column name between value one and value two. Here we are creating range. 
You will understand with this simple example. Select star from employee where employee ID between 101 and 104. Both the limits are inclusive. Look at the records. Employee ID is getting started with 101 and displaying till 104. There is a not between operator two. It is just a reverse of between operator. If you don't want to display records within that range, then you can use not between operator. It's time to check out the usage of one more category of operators that is in and not in along with select statement. If there is a given list of values and you need to match any value from the given list, we will be using in operator. Here is the syntax. Look at the where clause. Where column name in and in brackets we are providing the list of the values. Let's try to write one query based on it. Select star from employee where city in Pune and Nagpur. In bracket there are two values. So city can be Pune or Bangalore. If we look at the records, all those records are getting displayed where city is Pune or Bangalore. The reverse of in is not in. If you don't want to match from the given list of the values, we will be using not in. The same example we are trying with not in. Now look at the records. We are not getting these cities record. One more important concept we are going to study that is pattern matching with select command. If we have specific pattern to be matched, that we can do with the pattern matching using some operators. For pattern matching, we are using like operator. With like operator, we will be using two character. First is percent. It matches one or more character, and the second is underscore. It matches single character. Look at the first example. J A percent means the first two characters will be J A. After that, it can be any number of character. If we have string like this, it will get matched. Even this also is getting matched. as the first two characters are j a and the remaining can be anything these characters we can add as many times as we want look at the second example here we have added the percent symbol two times in the beginning and at the end it means in the beginning of the string you can have any number of characters but at the center these two characters should be there followed by again any number of character Look at this matching string. Now let's see some of the examples for underscore. Underscore is used for matching single character, right? So the three underscore means we need string with three characters. You can get this type of strings. Look at the second example for underscore. The first character should be T. At the center you can have anything, and at last you have A. So the string like this will get match with this pattern. hope you understood pattern matching it's easy in this way we studied lot of operators which we can use with select command like relational operators logical operators between not between operators in not in operators and even pattern matching with like operator now we will be discussing how to perform simple calculations with select command if you want to perform some calculation that can be done along with the field name For that we will be using arithmetic operator. Look at this example. We are providing bonus to the employees, which is twenty percent of salary. Twenty percent means twenty divided by hundred, so it will be zero point two zero. Look at the column header. It will display as it is specified here. If you want to rename and give it a meaningful name, you can do with as keyword. Now this makes sense. proceeding to one more important option that we will be dealing with select command that is handling null if you have some null values in a column and that you want to list that you can do with is null with the where clause look at this query select star from employee where city is null from the output it is clear that all those records are getting displayed where city is null The reverse of is null is is not null. If you don't want to display those records where you have null values in the field, so the query will look like this: select star from employee where city is not null. Let's check out the output. City with null is not getting displayed. In case you want to sort the records, for that we will be using order by clause. 
we can arrange the record in the ascending order means smaller to bigger value or in the descending order from bigger to lower value for that we will be using order by clause by default the sorting will be in the ascending order if you want to sort in the descending order we will be using desc clause look at the syntax select column name from table where condition till here the query is same followed by that we will be writing order by clause and on which column you need to do ordering that we will be mentioning here let's discuss one simple example here is the query select star from emp order by employee name look at the employee name column the records with a alphabet got printed first in the same way the alphabetical order is getting followed now let's display the record in the descending order that too based on emp id all right then the query looks like this select star from employee order by emp id add this desc clause for the descending order look at the employee id column 101 is getting displayed first then 107 in the same way other records are getting displayed in the descending order all right let's come to mysql using show databases command you will be getting a list of databases whichever database you want to use use it with the use database command if you want to check out the tables in the specific database you can use this command show tables you can see here already i have created the employee table make sure to create the table and insert record into it using desc command let me show you the structure of the table there are total four fields emp id e name city and salary Let me show you the records of the table. For that we are using select star from table name. Here is a list of the records. You can enter your own records. If you want to clear the screen you can use this command system cls. Now we are trying to figure out the different clause with the select command. First of all we will display a single field. For that we will be writing query like this. Select emp id from employee table. If you want to display multiple columns you will be separating it with comma. In this way we displayed two fields emp id and e name. Let's clear the screen and continue with the next query. This query will demonstrate the usage of distinct clause. It will remove the duplicates value. Distinct clause is mentioned before the column name. Now look at the output. Only unique cities we are getting. After that we will try to understand how to use relational operator. Look at the query. Select star from employee where city equals to Bangalore. With where clause we will be writing the condition. To write condition you can use any relational operator. Only the records of employees are getting displayed whose city is Bangalore. In the same way you can use logical operator if you have two or more condition. Look at the query. Select star from employee where city is equals to Bangalore or city is equals to Nagpur. We got the records for both the cities. Either this or that. Now let's try to understand the usage of AND operator. Using arrow keys you can repeat the previous query. The query will look like this. Select star from employee where city equals to Pune and salary should be greater than 21,000. Look at the output. There are two records which are satisfying both the criteria. There is one more operator named between can be used to create range. For that query will look like this. Select star from employee where employee ID between 101 and 104. With this we can create a range. Look at the records. We got the employee ID in the range 101 to 104. Both are inclusive. We have reverse operator for between that is not between if you don't want the specified range then you can use not between operator we got the records which are not in the specified range after that we are going to practice one more operator that is in with that we can give a list of values the query will look like this select star from emp where city in pune bangalore with that we will get only those employees with the city pune and bangalore 
and the reverse of in also available that is not in if you don't want the records which are in the specified list then you can use not in operator now it's time to practice pattern matching for that we will be using two operator one is percent and the other is underscore let's write one query select star from employee where e name like o underscore it means we need the records whose name should start with o but only one character should be there after o look at the record we have only one employee name like this so all the details for that employee got displayed underscore can be used at any place and it can be used any number of times let's try to write one more query select star from employee where e name like underscore i a look at the output we got all the names which are getting ended with i and a starting character can be anything so you got the point underscore matches a single character but if you want to match any number of character for that you will be using percent operator let's write the query select star from employee where city like b percent it means it can be any city which is getting started with b we have only bangalore that's why the records are displaying like this let's clear the screen with system cls can we perform calculations on field yes we can as the festivals are getting approach let's give bonus to employees so here is the query select e name salary multiplied by 0.20 from employee it means we are giving 20% bonus on the salary but the column name is not clear so we can rename it using as clause as bonus now it's clear let's clear the screen one more clause we are going to work out that is is null to display null values we can use is null clause with the where condition the query will look like this select star from employee where city is null look at the output we got cities with null value and the reverse of is null is is not null that is also available in the mysql so the query will look like this now note down there are no cities with null values can we sort the records based on the field yes we can for that we will be using order by clause the query will look like this select star from employee order by employee name so these records are arranged based on employee name that's why a is getting printed first followed by the other letters if you don't want in the ascending order you can also display the records in the descending order for that you will be adding desc clause there you have it look at the employee ids it is in the descending order hope all the queries are clear to you now create your own table enter some records and experiment with it so with that let's wrap today's video in the next video we are going to cover two important concepts one group by clause and joins in case of any doubt let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your friends just like said keep learning one step at a time and success will follow you so until next time keep practicing i will see you in the next video